Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and today I have another Lip Smacker Tsum Tsum Christmas Lip Balm to review for you. I know it's daylight and a dollar short, but you know what? I've read on Instagram of people finding these at Rite Aid specifically, I'm not sure where else, on clearance. Now, the person in particular that I read, uh, read found this is in Canada, so I don't know if they're just selling slower up there or what the deal is if they're available on clearance here in the U.S. as well. It probably varies based on your state, but if you do have a Rite Aid and you haven't found these yet, definitely worth a look. But today's is Marie in Perfect Vanilla Souffle flavor, and that is what it actually is, perfect, spelled like that. So it's really, really, really cute. Marie has a little pink and red bow and little pink and red collar and oh my gosh I just noticed she has little blue snowflakes on her butt and her back but I will show you that better once I get her out of the packaging again I just wanted to show you the cute little Christmas packaging that looks like a snow globe I'm gonna cut her out of here and we will check her out hold on just a sec okay guys here she is you can see her Ooh, a little bit better this light is weird but here she is with her bright, bright, bright blue eyes and her little rosy cheeks. I'm trying to get her at a good angle that you can see her pretty well. There you go. And her adorable whiskers. And there you can see, if I get this lighting right, still new at shooting here in my bedroom at my desk, so I'm not quite perfect at it, clearly. Okay, maybe there you can sort of see the blue snowflakes. I'll get better, I promise. But anyway, she's really, really cute. And I love vanilla scented things, so I'm hoping this is a really, really strongly scented vanilla. Let's see. She is the color that you would probably expect a vanilla lip smacker to be. Let me check it out for scent. Oh, fingers crossed. Mmm. It's weird. It's not as vanilla-y as I thought. It's definitely sweet and it smells really good. I don't know if that's the souffle coming into it. I don't know exactly what a souffle is. I know I'm kind of ignorant to food things. In spite of being married to a husband who's a total foodie and a great cook, I don't know exactly what a souffle is. So maybe that's part of what I'm smelling. But let's try it for flavor. And again, as I say, usually I don't apply this heavily. This is just for testing purposes for the flavor and the consistency. Hmm. The taste is a lot stronger than the scent, which I have no problem with. I mean, I guess it is vanilla, but it's definitely got, there's something else in there with the vanilla. I don't know what. I don't have to say much about the quality and consistency of Tsum Tsum Lip Smackers because they all feel and, you know, I, I, well, they all feel about the same is what I'm going to say. I can't say they taste the same. They're all different flavors, duh. But they all do have scent. They all do have flavor, which is great because I'm, as I've told you guys many, many times, a big fan of both being in my lip balms, especially if it says flavored on the package. If it doesn't have flavor and it says it's a flavored lip balm, that's going to really piss me off. So definitely Tsum Tsums do not fail in that regard. They come through on the flavor and the scent feels nice and moisturizing not thin at all but not waxy or overly thick just a really nice consistency let me sniff it again now that I've applied it more and try very carefully not to ding it yeah the scent is still it's a little stronger now that I've applied it but it's definitely not as strong as the flavor but again I don't have a problem with that because once it's on my lips I don't really smell it anymore anyway I enjoy the taste more you know everyone I, I don't like sit and lick my lips and eat my lip balm obviously I've actually had people make that comment before where I say it tastes really good they're like what do you eat your lip balm yes I do I eat my lip balm I ingest it every day for breakfast I mean come on people like if you got a troll just at least be an intelligent troll and make a relevant comment no I do not eat my lip balm but I think that everybody that uses lip balm will find that they occasionally might lick their lips and if there's a flavor there all the better as far as I'm concerned so this is not my favorite of the Tsum Tsums. It's okay. I mean, if you're a Tsum Tsum collector, you'll want it. Again, she's really, really cute. I'm sorry that I can't get the light just right, but there's her little face. Um, if you're a cat lover, you'll want it. If you're an Aristocats fan, you'll want it. If, Like I said, if you collect just all 
a lip balm, a lip smack or Tsum Tsum in general, you'll want it. Is it a standout in my opinion? Not particularly, but I'm definitely glad I have it because as of now, with the exception of the limited edition re-release set of Mickey and Minnie with the flavors that are like, oh god, what are the flavors? The... The pineapple Dole Whip flavor one. I forget if that's actually what they call it. And the uh, the beignet. The re-release in the gold and rose gold. I really, really, really wanted them. But unlike many other people, I do not get stuff sent to me by Lip Smacker ever. And I don't have the money to buy everything that they make. So I did not end up getting those, unfortunately. Even though I really, really, really wanted them because the packaging is super cute. They, to date, are the only two Tsum Tsum Lip Smackers I do not own. And it's going to bother me for the rest of my life that I don't have them. And I'm going to have that hole in my collection. But, you know... Them the, them's the breaks when you can't even reach 750 subs, even though I'm really, 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 really trying to. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. You know, more power to the girls who have, you know, cults of followers <laughs> and huge, huge sub numbers. You know, I'm not ever going to be that girl, clearly. But, you know, again, it is what it is. As far as Marie goes... If you can find her on clearance especially, I would say you're going to want to pick her up. And if you're a completionist and you want to just have all the lip smackers and all the Tsum Tsums, which I do, then you'll definitely want to grab her. I believe... No, I know. I know I bought her at Harmon inside Bed Bath & Beyond, but she was just full price, $4.99. And I think I used a Bed Bath & Beyond coupon. I think what I did was I bought four of them, which made the total $20.00 roughly before tax, and then I used a $5 off coupon, so I saved a little bit, but I mean, I pretty much, you know, paid just about full price for mine, so I'm kicking myself now, but that's what happens when you need to have everything N-O-W right away, like Veruca Salt, don't care how I want it now, but anyway, to those of you still looking for her, there is a chance for sure, I would say do not go to the secondary market first, definitely check Walgreens, Rite Aid, Harmon, all the places that typically do carry Tsum Tsum Lip Smackers, you may get lucky like this other girl and find them on clearance and how cool would that be? But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye.